Okay, the factoring review number uh, letter B here, one B. Again, the very first thing I need to do here is look for common factors. Now, you got to be careful with a question like this because when, once you see that x squared minus some term here, it's very tempting to think that what you're looking at here is a difference of squares. But but notice that that second term here is not a perfect square. So this is this isn't a difference of squares. And and regardless if it was or if it wasn't, the very first thing I should be doing anyway is looking for a common factor here. And in this case, there is a common factor of x that's been multiplied through. So when I take that factor out in the first term, I'm left with another factor of x. So together, those multiply out to get x squared. And over here removing or taking out a factor of x from here does not make this blank, does not leave this as a zero, that's a one, okay? Because so that now when I distribute that x through to both of those terms, I'm gonna get x squared minus x when I multiply that out.